Stay on a WNBA roster, constantly get better, constantly elevate her game. Become such a critical part of what the Mystics are trying to do here. Austin bats it away, and that's why Coach Tibalt was so thrilled about having Austin back in this lineup. Oh man, she just gives so much energy on the defensive side of the basketball. She's so long, great at getting deflections, staying attached, talking a little trash too. She takes it personal. Oh. Williams catching, casting, and connecting there. How are you? That is her game. That is what she does. The best in the league in terms of percentage coming off mid-range shots. Courtney Williams. Double-double watch. Ten points, seven rebounds for Williams. Pass made to the corner. Atkins scoops up her own miss. Walker Kimbrough from beyond the arc. Able to hit it. And the Mystics have taken a one-point lead with under a minute 30 left in this first half. I love the intention in this quarter for the Mystics to offensive rebound. And Bridget Carlton says, calm down, sit down, I got this. You said it before, two of the top three, three-point shooting and assisting teams. You better get back on defense. And now an illegal screen whistled against the Mystics. It's going to be against Dolson. It's going to give it right back to the Lynx. Yeah, that's the activity that you need on the offensive boards. Atkin gets it, kicks it back out to Walker Kimbrough, knocks it down. And then another foul, and Dolson caught reaching in. So back-to-back -back fouls against Stephanie Dolson. Her second foul right there. And now, slow to get up is Dorka Juhas. See her grabbing that left knee, just trying to flex it a little bit. That might have been one of those knee-to-knee -knee contact, yeah. and they don't make a knee pad thick enough for that. And we do not have an update on Alana Smith quite yet, but you see the ice on that right knee at the moment, and typically ice, when you've got ice on your knee mid-game, not a great sign. No, not at all, and it just was a bit of an awkward play as well when she did, you know, get injured. Just starting the second half of the season. Each team has about 14 or 15 games until playoffs start. And so you got to stay healthy, right? You got to stay consistent. Four point lead for Minnesota. Atkins trying to work the dribble. Dolson kicks it to the corner. Walker Kimbrough, 10 to shoot. Trying to work against Yu Haas. And excellent defense on the perimeter by the post player. And I'm surprised by that shot by Walker Kimbrough. I thought she would have wanted to get downhill against Yu Haas. And somehow they allow Courtney Williams to get back to her mid-range game. Man, she's putting on a clinic. Courtney Williams, 12 points, has been surgical here in the second quarter. Six-second differential between shot and game clock. Williams trying to stonewall Melvin. Atkins with a hard screen. Austin falls to her knee, maintains the dribble. Three to shoot, stumbling out of bounds, steps on the baseline. And that'll give Minnesota one last chance before halftime. That's an idea of how dominant Minnesota's defense can be. It just seemed like the Mystics had no opportunities there to get free to find a lane to the basket. Courtney Williams, 10 points this quarter. It's going to give her team one more crack at it. Racing it down the floor. Melvin trying to cut her off. Three to shoot. Williams working against Dolson, trying to get to the angle. Pump fake. That might have been after the horn, but either way, six-point lead for Minnesota. You saw the offense really come alive in the second quarter, but more importantly, the defense was starting to flex its muscle. And that's been their calling card all season. They're number one in the W in terms of defense. They do a great job of staying connected. And like Nafisa Collier told us in the first quarter, they wanted less defensive rotations in that second quarter. I think they won that battle.